What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Batman and Robin issue number two, written by Joshua Williamson, uh, with some art by Simone DeMaio, or DeMaio, however you pronounce that. I'm sorry if I butchered it. So this is the second issue of Batman and Robin. Uh, the issue does start to explore things that I've wanted to see for a while in Damien's character in particular, like he makes his first appearance at high school. Granted, it's a very brief one, um, but he's still there. So it's kind of like like finally getting to the places like I want to see explored a little bit more. We have the relationship between Bruce and Damien explored a little bit here, but they're kind of more like on the same wavelength for once. Like they're not necessarily fighting. They're kind of more calm talking to each other and all that. There's no unnecessary like needless uh, screaming and shouting or anything like that. It feels very disconnected from what's going on in Gotham War, especially with what just happened with Zura and Ob, Batman and all that fiasco so i mean if you're trying to like keep up with like how this all connects to everything else it's going to feel a little bit out of place but it is kind of written and handled a lot better than those other events so look to this one more than like say the main batman book or detective comics if you will so at least in my humble opinion so um i guess we'll start out how the issue begins there are flashbacks two years ago when damien was more of a more innocent child i should say uh he sees a bat he says it's cute and then his instructor kind of like kills if you will kind of like makes him cry in a sense he's like oh these emotions make you weak yada 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 um this woman right here i think is gonna end up being the villain shush um shush like i don't know like i think the name is kind of dumb personally we go from hush to shush and every time i hear the word shush i think of uh if you're a pro wrestling fan the chad gable but anyway so um also, at the end of the previous issue, Batman got hit with some sort of, like, uh, like pheromone, if you will, that attracts bats that makes them more kind of rabid towards him. Because, uh, like I said, you got Shush there, who's kind of making a brief appearance. Damien ultimately tries to help his father, and they do get out of the situation. They're still trying to also find that doctor uh, who specialized in, like, DNA sequences, like, sequencing, like, hybrids between humans and animals. It kind of reminds me, there was a Batman Beyond episode that kind of dealt with something like that, where it was people, like, fusing themselves with, like, animal DNA uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there was an episode kind of focused around that, if you will. And so that's kind of in the background right there. And then Damien eventually is kind of forced to go to school by his father. Uh, like I said, there's some nice moments between the two of them. We're on the same page, if you will. And Damien finally ends up in high school. So this is something I've wanted to see for the longest time with this character. I mean, I feel like it's been forever since we had uh, at least a Bat family member kind of bat balancing the act of school and superhero life. Like, I mean, there's something kind of relatable about that. There's something kind of fun about that about like uh seeing a character like damien who uh doesn't really take any like crap from anybody like in high school so he goes there there's some kids you can kind of hear them talking over that like you know they point out like hey who's that oh that's bruce wayne's kid oh yeah isn't his dad like a broke joke now and they're kind of laughing uh like what's he wearing uh sunglasses inside hey I, I wear sunglasses inside a lot of people wear sunglasses inside sunglasses are cool um but anyways you know it's high school kids or whatever they do make fun of his height so um he is a little bit taller but they're still poking fun at his height a little bit here so but somebody else was also like oh i think he's cute and all that too so you know just high school gossip stuff um in the last issue, we were kind of talking about the weavification of Damian Wayne and how he had his own little fan fiction book written about himself. Some kid with the exact same haircut as him. I mean, that's kind of one of the issues, too, is, like, so like the character designs, they're, like, in terms of, like, hairstyles, like, why are they, like, the exact same thing? Uh, some kind of douchey kid kind of takes his book, and, you know, they're kind of making fun of him. Damian makes a point to just don't touch his stuff and we do get this image right here of Damien kicking the crap out of them and then you also see kids on their phone but it's kind of revealed to be a bit of a dream sequence uh because it's a little bit confusing sometimes I think it's one of my issues with uh this comic book is sometimes the art and like the action are a little bit hard to follow and kind of tell what's going on I've kind of you have to kind of read it at least like more than once but for kind of like the smaller moments like a character like walking in somewhere where there's not a lot going on, on the screen it looks visually like really nice and striking um but eventually like i said his principal kind of interjects if you will and kind of stops the whole fiasco and damien who's already kind of tired of everything doesn't even make it through first hour in terms of high school and he's already out the door back to doing robin stuff so i also think this woman right here uh is going to end up being the character we see at the very beginning of the comic book i mean don't let the good understand high school will be peak for them so like i said that's there, there's something about her that seems awfully familiar um i'm sure like the very beginning of the comic book that's sh that's shush 
and this is going to be her. I think that's the art design just kind of looks very similar, or it could be a red herring or something. But yeah, so Damien's out of there. He goes to help his dad. His dad kind of points out like, hey, aren't you supposed to be in school? He's like, aren't you supposed to be healing uh, and recovering in that? And then they ultimately kind of like argue with each other, if you will. Um, Damien does bring up the fact that um, there was a, I had a lot more in common with those kids on Lazarus Island because we had issues with our parents and all that stuff. So, and then the end of the issue has like the various villains from before, the animal focused ones, White Rabbit, and you have Shush and everyone uh, ready to go toe to toe with Batman and Robin. So a lot of different things going on in this issue. Uh, we did kind of like briefly touch upon, like I said, Damien going into school. Granted, it was very short, but it's the kind of like um, the stuff outside the superhero uh, focus stuff is the thing I'm more interested in exploring with Damien's character because, I mean, we've had years and years of comics of him in the suits, uh, fighting crime and all that, and that's great and all that too, but I like to see like the Damien Wayne side, not always just the Robin side per se, and that's one of the things I did like about uh, the Lazarus uh kids group, if you will, on the, uh, the island, if you will, because we did have those moments of him, uh, well, I mean, he was still kind of, like, doing his thing, but we did see him interact with, like, more people and kind of have conversations and that, like, kind of outside of necessarily just crime fighting, and that's the stuff I feel like I'm more interested in exploring. Yeah, there's a little bit of kind of groany, like, cringiness with Damien's, like, weebification and his own self-insert fan fiction. Why he'd bring that with him, I don't know, and how he'd allow somebody to kind of take his stuff like that. I don't know. You get the high school bullies and all that, and yeah, I I'm kind of disappointed Damien didn't just kick the crap out of them right there, but I think that was just something kind of in his head. He was just like, ah, I'm done with this. Like, the fact that he couldn't tolerate, like, five minutes of high school uh is, is is saying something so it'll be interesting to see like how he ends up going back to school and how he kind of deals with those types of people i do want to see him kick the crap out of them at some point so I, i've heard rumblings that he's going to be joining like a sports team like soccer or something like that yeah i guess that could be kind of fun but i'd rather see him like play a more contact sport where he gets to kind of beat people up uh like football in a way, or wrestling, but then again, uh, it is the fall season, so football would start out first, and then, like, wrestling, and that's, like, more so in the winter. I think he'd be good in, in shining kind of those more individual-based things, but I guess they want to do soccer because uh, I feel like if Damien did something like football, he'd genuinely, like, injure everybody <laughs> around him or something like that. At least with soccer, you can kind of control different, like, he's, he's just kind of kicking. It's, it's a much softer sport than, you know, American football, I should say. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, I like the aspects. I like the fact that the relationship between Bruce and Damien's less uh, conflicting in the sense that they're not shouting at each other. There's no, like, rage yelling or anything like that. They're just kind of, like, calmly talking to each other. Uh, Bruce is like, hey, what's the deal here? You should be going to school, which again, he's, you know, about to be starting high school, if you will. He should be going to school and yeah, it kind of sucks in some ways and he is smarter and Damien brings up some good points and he's like, I'm smarter than all those teachers and all those students there. Why would I want to waste my time in here? But Bruce is like, it's about making friends. It's about connecting with people. So I like that aspect to it. Um, they still kind of take care of each other and all that. They're solving cases. There's none of this obnoxious uh, Batman possessed or uh, forced conflict between the Bat family members. It's they're, they're mostly on the same wavelength. They have some disagreements there for sure, but they're not constantly arguing at each other. So I like that aspect. Uh, the Shush character or Shush or whatever, not sure what her deal is. Uh, we kind of get a brief glimpse at her. I think she's the woman at the very beginning of the comic book in Damien's past, and I also think she's going to be the principal based on the way the art style is kind of laid out and such. So I think that aspect of it will be kind of interesting to see um, how that's kind of explored, why she chose the name Shush of all things, because like I said, we have Hush and then we have Shush. Like I, I, I don't get the naming of that. Uh, the art style is pretty nice for the most part, although I do still have kind of the same criticism I had in the first issue, in that it's sometimes hard to follow what's going on within the comic book. Like, for instance, we have the sequence where Damien goes to school, he gets his book, like, taken from him, he says, give that back, and the next shot, he's kind of kicking the crap out of them, and then everything seems to be kind of fine. I'm, I'm speaking of, like, a sense of, like, a... Like a like, the, the next page, if you will, not not shot, I'm thinking, like, a movie sense. Um, the next page, if you will, is him kicking the crap out of him, and then all of a sudden it seems to be fine. Like, there was a little bit of confusion on my end as to what was going on. I had to read it kind of more than once to kind of get the cross it. Oh, hey, this seems to be a dream sequence. But sometimes, like I said, the action bits are the hardest to follow. I think it's just the, the way the colors and that kind of overlay with each other. It just makes it a little bit, like, trickier to follow. Whereas something like in, say, the Robin book, it was very, like, 
pristine and kind of clear, crystal clear what was going on. I mean, not to say that the artwork in this thing is bad. It could just be a little bit harder to follow in some instances. The, the bits where they're just kind of sitting there like like the, the kind of quieter, like not in action moments, I think are the best for this particular style. But in terms of like action in that, like when you ever have something like that, that's where kind of like the, uh, I don't know if it's just that there's a visual disconnect between me and the comic book that makes it kind of hard to follow. I don't know if it's just the overlaying of the colors or the lighting or whatever they're trying to like orchestrate with it, but it can be a little bit trickier to follow in some instances. And I don't think I'm really the only one who thinks that, but like I said, I still like this comic book. Um, I don't, I mean the, the Robin book was a little bit stronger within his first few issues, but this issue need, this book does need to kind of like slowly like find its footing, if you will. Because this isn't just a Robin book. It's a Batman and Robin book. And uh, at least they're not fighting. At least there's no real obnoxious, uh, like, possession stories or forced Bat family conflict going on in this thing. Yeah, they, they are, have some disagreements, but I wouldn't really call that, like, a big major conflict like we've seen in some of the other uh, Bat man books as of late so i like like i said it's just batman and robin working together you have the element of damien finally going to school which is the stuff like i said i'm most interested in seeing explore because it's kind of like new territory yes we've seen every time damien goes to school he's either kicked out or something like that i mean gotham academy he shows up for like one issue takes the f one or two issues um, at first takes the fall for Maps Mizuguchi so she doesn't get expelled and that was it for him at that school like it was a chance to kind of see him maybe make friends his own age like in school and then that kind of got thrown aside uh, then of course we have Super Sons where he gets like flown in on a helicopter each day uh, and again he was still friends with John going to school there but we really didn't get to like the deep exploration of his life within school it's kind of something that was a bit brushed aside and you felt the sense that his teachers and everyone were awfully kind of cold to him and he was kind of the same way back but seeing a little bit more of a mature Damien also kind of making friends with kids his own age probably some fellow weebs if you will like that's the stuff that kind of interests me the most so and like I said I do like that Bruce and Damien's relationship relationship is not like screaming at each other right now it's like a sense of peace and it feels like a nice bit of relief after all the other fiascos that have been going on at dc comics as of late so yeah i still like this issue there's still some ways i think can improve um like i said the art style is good in a lot of pages it's just the action is sometimes kind of hard to follow and granted we only got a brief glimpse of damien at school and yeah there's still some of that like kind of like yeah, like you kind of audibly groan when someone's like, what's this? I've got your book here. But seeing Damien kind of kick the crap out of him in his own mind would be satisfying. So hopefully he gets to do it for real uh, in a in more inconspicuous kind of way. So like that, that'll be kind of fun to see Damien kind of show off and uh, have his own little like fan club or something, if you will, at the school. Because like I said, he's he is a Wayne. And some people did point out in the issue like, oh, he's, he's bro his family's broken, all that now, which still kind of like groans me to this day i'd like make bruce wayne rich again uh, you know what i mean give give him his money back let him do because he still uses all these gadgets and all that it's not like it's been as well explored i think as they, they thought they were going to do so i don't know maybe i'm just i know it's like the status quo rich batman like alfred and all that there but you know after a few years i kind of miss it I, I miss them working out of wayne manor i would i miss them just kind of hanging out in the bat cave it's just it's not the same there's a bit of a disconnect and plus like i said like dick Grayson's like this billionaire like why didn't he buy wayne manor or anything like that like allowing vandal savage to take over it like that just doesn't make any sense um and also, like I said, the the way he lost his money, I believe it was during uh, Gotham War, or not Gotham War, the Joker War and all that. So just just a lot of like stuff that just makes me just audibly kind of groan at times. But uh, anyways, that's all I have to say about this particular comic. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications, all that fun stuff. And I will be back later on today to talk about World's Finest Teen Titans. I haven't gotten around to reading that one yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And then that should be good in terms of DC comic book reviews for the rake i'm not sure if there's any godzilla comic books coming out this week but uh yeah we got that to look forward to i think just league vs godzilla vs kong may come out next week so i don't know i still got to think about it but uh anyways thanks for watching everybody put your comments down below all the other fun stuff and i will see you all in the next video peace